Beloved bassist and frontman Marco Hayatala of Nightwish has announced his departure from the band. The announcement was made on social media earlier today, stunning fans who love his music. He's one of the most popular metal musicians in the world, extremely popular, especially over throughout Europe, but also around the world. He had some very interesting things to say about why he's leaving the band. He goes into details about that as well. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with notifications on. You can drop a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment as well. But of course, the best way to support this channel is by subscribing. All right, let's take a look over at the reasons why he is actually leaving the band. You've got this report up over from Metal Hammer, and they reveal that he's left the group, and he posted on his social media. Let's see if there's the actual post here. Okay, so on his Instagram, you can see it says, Dear people, I am leaving Nightwish and my public life. For quite a, f a few years now, I haven't been able to feel validated by my life. We have a streaming company, uh, Big Guns, demanding nine-fifths nine work of artists' inspiration while unfairly sharing the profits. Even among the artists, we're all we're the banana republic of the music industry. Biggest tour promoters squeeze percentages even from our own merchandise while paying dividends to the Middle East. Apparently, some theocracies can take money from the music that would get you beheaded or jailed without appearing as hypocrites. Just a couple examples here. This past year forced me to stay home and think, um, and I found myself disillusioned about these and a lot of things. I found out that I'm in need of that validation for me to write, sing, and play. Uh, I need to find some new reasons and inspirations, my Walden, so to speak. Uh, and it's even in my book that I'm a chronic depressive. It's dangerous for me and the peop uh, people around me if I continue. Some of the thoughts a while back were dark. Don't worry, I'm fine. I have my two sons, a wife. The rest of the family, friends, a dog, and lots of love. And I don't think that I'll be gone for good. Conspiracy is the word of the day for people who, like I am, I need to say that my 55th birthday is now on 14th of January, and I've certainly done my time for now. Blaming, for, injust, uh, for instance, um, is an insult, basically talking about his bandmate, to both him and free thinking. This is a very sad thing for all of us. Have a care, please. But of course, now we'll know if some go there on purpose. There's a couple things that agreed on that I will do in 2020. Otherwise, I kindly and with respect ask the media bands, artists, projects not to ask me anything within the next year. I have some reinventing to do. I hope to tell you about it in 2022. It's not a promise, though. I'm so sorry about this. Um, and so he... It says, P.S. Tony Iommi is an exception to the no contact whatsoever. <laughs> Childhood hero takes a precedent. So he's uh, he's ending the statement there on a very lighthearted note. But with that note, it's something that's bittersweet. And he says that being in this band and being in the music industry in general takes a mental toll on him. And also feeling that validation. But he's coming from a lot of different angles here. He also acknowledges that there's a strong possibility he could, quote, reinvent himself and make a return in 2022. But the most important thing here, the most important thing here out of all of it is taking care of that mental health, taking care of yourself. And he's had an illustrious, legendary career up to this point. So if this is where it ends, he's got so much to be proud of. And there's no shame in the game and taking uh, a step back and walking away from it whatsoever. Quite frankly, the fans, we love his music. But he doesn't owe anything to us. He doesn't owe anything to us at all. He can do what he wants. And if this is what makes him happy, that is ultimately what is most important. His music is out there, as he mentioned, on, on platforms where he has issues with the compensation he receives. And so you can enjoy that music. But it's his life to live. He's got to be out there living his life every day. And if he's not happy, then it's just not something that you can do. So... Folks, I wish them all the best. I hope you guys do as well. Hope everyone's doing well out there, and thanks so much for joining me today at Rock Feed. Maybe, just maybe, you might enjoy one of these clips. Join me on Instagram and Spotify for news you may not find here. And if you really want to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support.